And today we're going to check it out how to vectorize images with Trace Journey in the right way. If you want to know how to install the Trace Journey bot, you can check out the link in the description. Now first let's go to the Mid Journey bot and generate some images. Now in order to create some correct images, you're going to need to do something really minimalistic and simple, which mainly uses black and white fill and that's kind of it. So I'm going to show you some prompts. For example, Pug logo, minimalist logo, vector, black and white. So these were inspired from the Mid Journey gallery. For example, rose flower silhouette, vector, flat, simple identification symbol, white background, minimalistic, clip art, PNG, SVJ. So these are going to generate pretty clean results. After you generate your image, you can go back to Trace Journey bot, drag and drop the image, press enter and click on the vectorize. It's going to create an SVJ file. You can download it here and let's open up in Illustrator. So as you can see, we've got really clean results because we don't have any shading, we don't have any shadows or anything like that that is going to complicate the vectorization process, only black and white lines and that's kind of it. So from here, we're going to need to remove the unnecessary elements, for example, this black background. So I'm going to select it, go to select, same, fill color. So this is going to select all the black colors and press on delete. And look at that, it's starting to clean up and we also have something under, I think this is Wow, this is stroke. This is interesting. I never thought it's going to add like strokes also. But anyways, I'm going to select this one, go to select, same, fill color, and I'm going to right click, group, and I'm going to delete the strokes. Change up the colors to dark. Let's see what happens. And it looks horrific. Uh, this is how it looks on white background. It totally changed the composition and the character. It looks really bad. Okay, so let's check out if you're going to duplicate this. And I'm gonna make the other one with black background. And here you can see a huge contrast. So with black background, it looks perfect. And with white background, it's just horrible. So this is the thing with Mid Journey. Mid Journey doesn't know graphic designs, you know, the rules in graphic designs and every details, you know, related to graphic design. So it is going to miss out a lot of things as you're just generating, you know, illustrations without any pro proportions or anything like that. So that's the problem with Mid Journey generally. Okay, let's try out something else. I gotta go with another pug now with white background. Vectorize and let's do the same process. All right, so I cleaned it up and this side looks with white background. So let's see how it's gonna look with back background. And the moment of truth, <laughs> this is horrific. This is incredible, like how bad it looks. Uh, it, it just got all the issues with the mouth. So yeah, I gotta try it out something else. Uh, it seems like it's not working on black and white and white on black. I gotta try it out with this rose. This has to be good, it's really simple. I mean, it's not that bad, but not the best either, but this is how it looks. So far, this came out decent. And now, but least, we're gonna try it out with a dinosaur with uh, five legs. Actually, it has like six legs, one, two, and another one here, four, five, six. So basically in this situation, you need to clean up the dinosaur. So I can select the direct selection tool. I'm gonna remove some of the unnecessary elements. You know, you can press on delete, delete again. And here I'm gonna select this anchor point and I'm gonna go and cut that anchor point. Also this one, cut it. Let's go here. I'm gonna select this, delete, delete. And now the thing is like, uh, it looks like it's falling. So it doesn't have any stability, this dinosaur. And the other thing is like, it, still has this foot here, so I'm gonna need to remove it, but it already is pretty bad because, you know, there's like no lag in this zone to support the dinosaur. I'm gonna do it freestyle in a more unclean way just to see how it's gonna look. I think it's horrible. I don't have words. You know, it's uh, the thing is like Mid Journey is successful with illustrations, but you know, it's still it's it's still horrible. Mid Journey still doesn't know the correct proportions. It doesn't know anything about physics. It doesn't know anything about anatomy. You know, it just doesn't know nothing. It's just copy pasting images. That's what it's doing. And the results are going to look unprofessional. So, anyways, mainly this is how you vectorize with AI. Thanks for watching.